Spurs had the greater mentality, the greater aggression. Mauricio Pochettino's 250th game, and this is his 250th lineup with Paolo Casaniga, his regular cup tie goalkeeper, in again tonight. The back four, and indeed the rest of the side, the same as started the New Year's Day win at Cardiff. The diamond in midfield is a real polish now. And Deli Alley in particular disturbed Chelsea's rhythm as well as scoring the opening goal in November. Kane and Son operated as a two that day and may well do the same tonight. Lucas Moura is missing from the bench with a knee injury, but Eric Lamella is back after illness. Mauricio Sarri had to wait for several fitness checks before plumping for this team. In goal, his number one, Kepa Ariza Balaga. Andres Christensen has started all the Carabao Cup games this season. And he is preferred to David Luiz, who really struggled here in November. In midfield, the first League Cup game for Jorginho. And further forward for 18-year-old Callum hudson Adoy, who is being pursued by Bayern Munich. And actually played on the right in the Cup win, FA Cup win over Nottingham Forest at the weekend. William is fit again in, in the team of Pedro and Giro. Giroud are also OK, they're on the bench. And Matteo Kovacic is available again after being unwell. They weren't allowed to play in blue by Premier League regulations when they were beaten 3-1 here in the yellow. Turned out to be a... Barkley again. Here's a go. A stronger right foot. Well, already it's been a better start by Chelsea these first three or four minutes, but this was the counter-attack by Spurs. Christensen having a little vessel, a little hold, and now the VAR. From London Derby to Arsenal, and here's Son. And, uh, FA Cup, and he made both goals for Morata, who's missing tonight because uh, a couple of little Hudson Adoy takes on Danny Rose here, goes for goal uh, early on. And, uh, it's a, a ball that deserved a better Watson to Trippier. Oh, a brilliant goal for Harry Kane. He did well to get it on target with the acrobatics. He certainly did. Great imagination, agility from England's centre forward. Look at that. Skies on the uh, movement of uh, Hudson Adoy, and that's where maybe a Giroud or a Mar There's one. Oh, that was she nearly joined Spurs. Healthy area for Chelsea at the moment. Hazard has a go. Barkley does have a go with his left foot in the middle. But very good in the air. He's clipped in that direction, but not from a great angle for the good run by Angola Conte this time to almost slipping it into Hazard. He makes a run. It's going to check on a penalty opportunity here. And the first goal of the semi final goes to Spurs from the penalty spot. Assisted by VAR, converted by Harry Kane. There's a bit of venom in that spot kick. I don't think it was in the corner, but enough power to easily beat. Luisa Balaga slides it to William. Chelsea might be in here. To Chivu. Conte. He's just scored through. Comes to Alonso. And by the viral. And then in the end, Erickson. Okay, this time. Moves it off to Hudson Adoy. Can he find a way to go? Wasn't too far away. See what he was trying to do. He has got that ability to go both ways, the teenager, which always makes the defender's job difficult. William, good chance for a cross here. Oh, what a good effort by Angola Conte, who certainly can prove in improving the attacking part of his game and he's made a very good run here and wasn't far away glanced the outside no, of the post I mean, he's a yard or two beyond that near post so he's done ever so well just to hit the frame it was a striker's run and a striker's finish that's the door with an early cross and, uh, and he's just turned it onto the frame of the goal and in the end 
It's knocked to safety by Toby Alderweireld. Angelo Conte has also struck the frame of the goal in this first half as well, but it was... Uh, back post. Uh, the nearest player, not near enough for Chelsea. Here's the trip here was Barkley. I just get the feeling with Chelsea, they're not too far away at all. Not making a breakthrough, getting into some good positions. through and Rudiger got the ball he had to he flew into that tackle Rudiger and he's a top defender in these situations what a challenge that is Angola Conte lining one up that's a decent hit again he's getting the taste for this there haven't been many times when Gazaniga's knocked it back into the game danger area this wasn't quite that but his teammate comes to the rescue to clear up as a Sissoko now came no distance scares him he certainly frightens goalkeepers well this came at the end of some lovely football this shot it really did Decisive, accurate passing. Barcelona apologising to his teammates. Uh, Sanchez into the back of Hazard. That's going to be a definite yellow card. Uh, it was a clumsy challenge, forceful one. Actually conscious of trying to stop the Belgian from turning. Mm, Hazard. Uh, some of the top Rudiger and Christensen on the move. Oh, what a chance for Christensen, who just hung out of the back post. It was deflected into his path, and he couldn't hit the target. Just one of those occasions where you need your man to get his feet sorted out, to be positive with it. A flick on by Barkley, and what a chance that is. Can he go with his left? He's made up his mind early to go with the right. Ali and that might have become a fixture in first-team football. Whether it's with Chelsea on the ball to Hudson Odoi. It's uh, Alonso Espelicueta with Pedro in attendance. That's similar size and of course similar nationality to Eden Hazard who's going his own way here. He gets the corner. And, uh, and Pedro waits. For the corner, but uh, the beer old was convinced it wasn't. And Alonso will get it. Chiru goes to the near post and it's pissed across in that area. Can't take up. There is a chance for Olivier Giroud perhaps to uh, get on the end of a Chelsea set piece. Looking for Lamella for yeah, the I mean, nature of the challenge. The leg came across him if the arm did as well. It's a cap decision. Pedro. And this time Gazaniga doesn't have it cut away from his grasp. Double decision on VAR really. Offside and then penalty. through the semi-final we reconvene in 16 days time home advantage is a 1-0 advantage for Tottenham Hotspur a Harry Kane penalty awarded on the VAR review and uh, one or two issues probably it's a, a good thing we've got a, a couple of weeks before they meet again as Rudiger and Rose 
come together for the most part. There are handshakes.